Dive into the world of the Old English Sheepdog, where Shaggy meets history. From cinematic stardom to countryside charm, let's unravel the mysteries of this iconic breed. Originating in the west of England, they were initially used for driving cattle and sheep to the market. It's believed that the Old English Sheepdog's ancestors include breeds like the Scottish Bearded Collie and the Russian Outchar. Their tails were often docked as a sign of their working status, which granted them tax exemptions. Shaggy Charms, the best bits of the Old English Sheepdog. Friendly nature, they're known to be affectionate, making them great family pets. Protective, with their herding instincts, they can be protective, looking out for family members. Intelligent, quick learners, they pick up commands and tricks with relative ease. Good with kids, their gentle nature makes them good companions for children. Versatile, while originally herding dogs, they can excel in various activities like agility or obedience trials. Fluffy challenges, what to consider with the old English sheepdog. Grooming needs, their thick, shaggy coat requires regular grooming to prevent matting. Shedding, they're moderate shedders, so expect some fur around the house. Size, their large size might not be suitable for very small living spaces. Exercise needs, being active dogs, they need regular exercise to stay healthy and happy. Training, if not trained early, they can become stubborn or develop bad habits due to their intelligence and size. The Old English Sheepdog has been a star in many movies and shows, including The Little Mermaid and The Shaggy Dog. They have several nicknames, including Bobtail and Shepherd's Dog. Some Old English Sheepdogs are born with tails and some without. Those with tails sometimes have them docked, a tradition from when they were exempt from taxes if tail docked. They have a strong, squared muzzle with a distinctive black or brown nose. Their eyes can be blue, brown, or even one of each, heterochromia. They have a robust and compact body build, giving them a strong and balanced appearance. Males typically stand between 22 to 24 inches, 56 to 61 centimeters, at the shoulder. While females are slightly smaller at 20 to 22 inches, 51 to 56 centimeters. Males usually weigh between 70 to 90 pounds, 32 to 41 kilograms, and females generally range from 60 to 80 pounds, 27 to 36 kilograms. Old English sheepdogs typically live between 10 to 12 years. They have a dense, double coat that requires regular grooming to stay tangle-free. To avoid mats and tangles, daily brushing is ideal, especially for longer coats. Every couple of months, consider a professional groom to maintain coat health. They don't need frequent baths, but when they get dirty, use a dog-specific shampoo to retain coat oils. Regularly check and clean their eyes and ears to prevent infections. Monthly nail trims are essential, as long nails can cause pain or injury. To prevent dental issues, brush their teeth several times a week. Trim the hair between their foot pads to prevent dirt accumulation and improve traction. Despite the thick coat, they're considered moderate shedders. The double coat means they have a soft undercoat and a rougher outer coat. Both shed. They might shed more during seasonal changes, especially spring and fall. Cost. Purchasing an old sheepdog puppy can range widely, often between $1,000 to $3,000, based on lineage and breeder reputation. Professional grooming sessions can range from $70 to $100 or more each time, depending on the services provided. A couple of decent length walks daily, combined with playtime, is essential. They love playing fetch, tug of war, and other interactive games. Along with physical exercise, mental workouts like puzzle toys and training challenges keep them sharp. It's best to start training when they're puppies. This sets the foundation for good behavior. Being consistent in training commands and routines helps them understand better. Early socialization with other dogs, people, and experiences ensures they grow up well-adjusted. They respond best to positive reinforcement methods, such as treats and praises. Sometimes, they can show a stubborn side. Patience during training is essential. Due to their herding instincts, always be cautious when letting them off-leash in open areas. 
Enrolling them in obedience or puppy training classes can be beneficial for both the dog and the owner. While they need exercise, be cautious during extremely hot days. Their thick coat can make them prone to overheating. While not all Old English Sheepdogs love water, many do enjoy a splash. The dense coat can make them quite buoyant, but it can also weigh them down when wet. Their thick coat needs thorough rinsing and drying after swimming to prevent matting. Introducing them to water at a young age can increase their comfort with swimming. They're known for the vocal nature and can bark quite a bit. If left alone or not stimulated, their barking might increase out of boredom. Their thick double coat can make them prone to overheating. In hot weather, they prefer to lounge in cooler, shaded areas. It's best to limit their playtime outside during peak heat hours. That shaggy coat isn't just for looks, it's a natural insulator. Don't be surprised if they want to play in the snow for hours. In colder months, limit baths to keep their natural oils and maintain coat insulation. Their large size might be intimidating, but they're known for being gentle with kids. With their playful nature, they're often up for games and antics with children. Sometimes they might herd kids in play. It's instinctual and harmless. Generally, they enjoy the company of other dogs. As with most breeds, proper introduction helps in fostering friendships. Sometimes they may want to be the top dog, so monitoring is key. They're often interested in meeting new people. They might be reserved at first but usually warm up quickly. They can be wary of strangers if they perceive a threat. Many old English sheepdogs get along with feline housemates. Introducing them to cats at a young age often ensures a harmonious relationship. Yup, sometimes they might try to herd them too. Cats might not be fans of this. They're a large breed, so they need space. A spacious apartment would be ideal. Living in an apartment means they'll need regular outdoor walks and playtime. They can be quite vocal. Neighbors might not appreciate their barking. Despite their size, they can adjust to apartment life with proper care. Their intelligence can make them a tad stubborn, posing a slight challenge for newbies. Their thick coat requires regular maintenance, which might be overwhelming for first-timers. First-time owners should be prepared for their active nature and exercise demands. They're quite attached to their human family and might not like being left alone for long periods. If they're bored, they might turn to mischief. Toys can help keep them engaged. They're quick to bark when something's amiss, making them excellent watchdogs. Their loyalty to their family means they can be protective when needed. Despite their protective nature, they're generally friendly, so don't rely on them as guard dogs. With proper training, their watchdog instincts can be honed, but they're more watchers than guards. They do drool, especially after drinking or exercising. Owners might find occasional drool spots around the house. Hip dysplasia, a common ailment, it's crucial to monitor and get regular vet checkups. Eye problems, they can be prone to cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy. Regular eye exams are essential. Hypothyroidism, it affects the thyroid gland, but with regular checks, it can be managed. Deafness, especially as they age, it's good to monitor their hearing and adapt communication. Hereditary issues, like many breeds, they have some hereditary health concerns. Ensuring they're from responsible breeders can help reduce risks. And there you have it, folks. The Old English Sheepdog, a bundle of fluff with a heart of gold and a history as rich as its coat. If you've been enchanted by this shaggy star, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite breeds and some tales, er, uh, tales you might not have heard before.